fast food and toys? It's undoubtedly a seemingly unlikely duo that has captivated generations. From Happy Meal surprises to collectible figures, these toys have not only filled our childhoods with joy, but have also left an indelible mark on consumer behaviour. But have you ever wondered why fast food toys are so appealing? Is it the colourful packaging, the excitement of the unknown, or something deeper? Today we will embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries behind the smiles, and we will uncover the history, marketing strategies, psychological appeal, and even the health and ethical concerns surrounding these miniature wonders. What is it about these trinkets that captivates our hearts and minds? Let's start our exploration of the fascinating and manipulative world of fast food toys and their profound impact on consumer behavior with today's video, Behind the Smiles, the impact of fast food toys on consumer behavior. So buckle up, it's gonna be a fascinating and wild ride. But before we delve deeper, let's take a quick poll. Have you ever been influenced to buy fast food because of a toy? Click on the poll icon to vote now. Let's start with a quick journey through time and history to understand the origins of fast food toys. Fast food toys were not always a staple. The concept took flight in the 1970s when companies began realizing the potential to attract families with the promise of a little extra joy in every meal. Fast food giants were facing fierce competition and kids weren't exactly thrilled about greasy burgers and limp fries. Now, here enters the ingenious idea, fast food toys. From simple trinkets to elaborate playsets to the evolution of tie-ins with blockbuster movies and popular franchises, these toys became ingrained in our culture. No doubt, the evolution of fast food toys mirrors the changing landscape of consumer expectations. Over the years, these toys became more sophisticated and much more desirable. They saw limited editions, collectibles, and even cultural phenomena. Fast food chains mastered the art of tapping into trends and creating a sense of urgency and exclusivity that had kids as well as parents or families hooked. Certainly when I was a kid, I remember being more excited about the toy in my Happy Meal than the food itself. But how did these toys become such a powerful marketing tool? What makes these toys so irresistible? The marketing strategies behind them are nothing short of genius. Through engaging anecdotes and compelling statistics, fast food chains ingeniously tapped into the psychology of desire and surprise. Limited edition releases, tie-ins with popular movies and strategic partnerships with toy manufacturers created an irresistible allure. In fact, did you know that McDonald's once distributed more toys than Hasbro, Mattel and Lego combined? Companies deployed clever marketing tactics. They knew that kids with their nagging pester power could influence adult decisions. They strategically linked toys to popular movies and cartoons, turning mealtimes into opportunities for brand association and emotional connection. You might be amazed, but it worked. Studies show that kids pester their parents for specific meals based on the accompanying toy, often tipping the scales in favor of one fast food chain over another. It's a multi-billion dollar industry built on the backs of plastic smiles and childhood desires. Now that we know how these toys are marketed, Tell us, do you think the marketing strategies for these toys are effective? Vote in the poll right now. According to an article published recently, nearly $2 billion is spent yearly by US food and beverage companies to market products to children, with the majority of expenditures promoting less healthy foods and drinks. Not only this, but News.Wise stated in its report about McAllister, a lecturer in the University of Wisconsin-Madison School of Human Ecology, who said that when the choice was fast food alone or healthy food paired with a toy that would complete a collectible set, the kids expected the two foods to taste equally good. There's something about the collection that makes the toy especially powerful. Despite what everybody knows about kids' preferences for toys along with fast food, the scientific journals did not contain a rigorous study of marketing tactics embodied in the McDonald's Happy Meal. McAllister says, We all know that Happy Meals sell. We observe that kids enjoy them. But until now, there was no research on children's interest in toys in connection with meal selection. We now have new evidence that the presence of a toy, particularly a collectible one, can change a child's perception of how the food is going to taste. Oh, the power that these little trinkets hold. Beyond the marketing, there's something deeper at play. These toys tap into a child's innate psychological needs. The completion instinct drives them to collect sets, to complete narratives, to create their own miniature worlds. Each toy is a piece of the puzzle, a step closer to a feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction. So you see, the psychological appeal of fast food toys goes beyond the initial excitement. Children in particular are drawn to the feeling of collecting and completing sets. 
The joy of discovery and the thrill of sharing experiences with friends contribute to the emotional connection that lasts long after the meal is finished. It's not just a toy now, but it's a memory in the making. Think about it. What attracts you more, the toy or the food? It's just like how I felt when I finally completed my Happy Meals toy collection of Transformers. Oh, Optimus Prime, you were worth every greasy bite. You see, these toys create a strong sense of achievement among kids. Now, let's talk about the real impact. These toys aren't just cute trinkets, but in real, they are influences in the world of consumer behavior. Influence of fast food toys extends beyond mere playthings. They wield significant power in shaping family purchasing decisions and overall consumer behavior. Studies show that families are more likely to choose a restaurant that offers toys, and kids have been known to influence food choices based on the promise of a beloved toy. It's a dynamic that extends beyond the drive through shaping purchasing decisions, and in turn, shaping the industry. However, as with any powerful tool, there are concerns. The association of fast food with toys has sparked debates about health and ethics. Critics argue that using toys to lure in young customers contributes to unhealthy eating habits and childhood obesity. Indeed, we can't ignore the health implications and ethical debates surrounding the marketing of these toys to children. This has prompted a closer look at the responsibilities corporations bear in shaping the well-being of their youngest customers. You know that they will definitely shift the focus from the nutritional value of the food to the entertainment value of the toy. A healthy salad loses its appeal when it's pitted against a talking minion figure for sure. And it may seem surprising, but it's obviously true. As reported in ABC.net, a study involved almost 1,000 Australian children between 5 and 9 years of age, who were offered a number of healthy and unhealthy meal choices after watching a movie trailer followed by a fast food advertisement or leisure activity. Some of the meals came with a movie character toy, and some did not. Overall, it found children were more likely to choose fast food, but the interest in healthy meals significantly increased when a toy was offered. Lead author Helen Dixon from the Cancer Council said it proved what food companies have known for decades. When a movie character toy was offered with a fast food meal, kids were more likely to want that meal regardless of how healthy or unhealthy it was. That brings us to an important question. Do you believe fast food toys contribute to unhealthy eating habits in children? Well, the landscape is shifting. As consumer awareness grows and societal values evolve, fast food chains are adapting. With increased consumer awareness and regulatory changes, the marketing of fast food toys is undergoing a transformation. Some have introduced healthier options, while others focus on sustainable and ethical practices. Governments and advocacy groups are also stepping in to regulate marketing practices targeted at children. These changes signal a new era where transparency and accountability are paramount. And there you have it. We have explored the clever marketing, the psychological allure, and the evolving landscape of consumer awareness. The impact of fast food toys runs deeper than we often realize. But as we dive deeper into this strategy, it's crucial to reflect on the stories behind what we buy. Think about the impact these toys have on our choices and health next time you see one. Remember that as consumers, we have the power to shape the narrative and demand responsible practices from the brands we support. Every purchase carries a story, so let's be mindful and informed consumers understanding the stories behind what we buy. By doing so, we contribute to a world where the joy of a toy does not come at the expense of our health or values. And as we wrap up, we want to hear from you. How can we as consumers demand more responsible practices from fast food chains? Share your ideas and join the discussion on this in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this journey and liked the world of fast food toys. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share your thoughts or experiences. Together, let's continue the conversation and shape a future where smiles come with not just joy, but also responsibility. Thanks for watching.